What we've been doing up to this point in agriculture is addressing labor needs, but we've been addressing it with larger equipment and also with uh, more technologically advanced equipment. So that on one hand is good, but on the other hand, the available labor that we have, um, it, it makes it harder to find people that can operate large equipment and technologically advanced equipment. So we started kind of at that point of what could we do to address labor concerns on the farm. And we knew that autonomous vehicle technology was, was coming into to use, and we knew that there were several things that we thought we could bring that together and make an affordable solution to address labor on the farm. Our system um, that's operating out there, there's a, there's a communications device on the, on the combine, and so the, the combine operator is able to give commands to the tractor in the field. The tractor has got a perception system and that uses uh, several sensors and we fuse that information together so that the tractor can perceive its, perceive the surroundings. Uh, as you saw over there, I, I did a safety stop where I just walked right up to the vehicle. So it's able to track that and make sure that it doesn't hit anything. Uh, beyond that, we've got communications mechanisms to communicate between the two vehicles and then we've also got the ability to control the tractor. Farm Progress gives us a, a fantastic opportunity for people to see our technology and, and be able to interact with it. Like today in the, in the infield harvest demo, that was really a neat opportunity for people to see that our technology is real and that it's actually solving problems on the farm. Our system is um, in its final operational testing and we're, that's in lead up to a second quarter of next year uh, commercial launch where it'll be commercially available to cu customers to buy.